one of these lucky couples could win a dream vacation. Meet Bryce Johnson and Ms. Warthen. He's a telemarketer who likes golf and soccer. She manages an apartment building and enjoys movies and the beach. Meet Benjamin Podnos and Carrie Pomeroli. He's in sales and likes sports and reading. She owns her own business and enjoys dancing and traveling. They're all here to play the wildest shopping game ever, the new shop till you drop. And here's the host of the new shop till you drop, Pat Finn. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hello there. Welcome. Good to have you here in our studio and great to have you watching here at home to the new shop till you drop. Let's meet our contestants, Carrie and Benjamin. Welcome. Hi. Good to have you guys here. Hello. Now you two are a couple, right? Yes. How do you know each other? We went to college back in Michigan at the same time, but we met watching a football game out here in California. Oh, really? Oh, very cool. And uh, what do you mean by he talks too much? That's what they told me to ask you about. What's that? I, I, I get in trouble. I talk too much during movies. Because oh. he thinks he's in the movie and he likes to talk to the characters. Uh -huh. So we've gotten kicked out of several movie theaters. When did you first start thinking these things? But never mind. Anyway, Liz and Bryce, good to have you guys here. You two are friends, right? Yes. And what else? Roommates. Roommates. Very cool. And, uh, and uh, just the two of you or? And the 25-pound cat. Whoa. <laughs> Probably in charge of the house, no exactly. doubt. Exactly. <laughs> All right, you two won the toss, so you get to go first. Come with me. Woo! Why don't you stand right here and listen carefully and tell me if you want to play this game or pass it, because you have the choice at this point. Now, Grandma Curmudgeon can sometimes be, well, described as a bull in a china shop, I'm sorry to say. Oh, so sweet. I've always thought of myself as a bull in a china shop, too. <laughs> Oh, a bull. Yes. A lovely bull. That's right, Patrick. Yes. Yes, yes whatever you want to think, Grandma. Now, now Grandma is going to, uh, has had a chance to have a little fun with some products, and she's demolished them to, well, almost beyond recognition, right? Yes, I have. This one here reminds me the little curly wires of you before you found out about the benefits of moose. <laughs> what was that? This used to be a... That was my air dryer. Oh, yes. Your hair dryer. <laughs> yes, yes, appropriately my... enough. <laughs> All right. By the way, on the table over there are six products in their non-demolished state. You can see a can opener, below that a blender. Then we have a clock radio and mixer, mixer, clock radio, down to telephone, and a chopper. Now, when I say go, we'll show you the first demolished product. You'll grab the undemolished one you think it matches, and then place it here, and we'll move on to the next one. If you can get four out of six right in 60 seconds, you win. What do you think? Pass or play? I'm play. We'll play it. We're going to play. play. All right, very good. We're going to give you 60 seconds on the clock. Ready? Yeah. Move as quickly as you can. Set and go. Take a look at this. Okay, what do you think that was? Wow, it barely looks. <laughs> All right, just set it, set it right there out front. Okay, and take a look at this. Take a look. Take a look. What do you see? Well, look. Look at it. Look at it before you. Yeah, yeah, look. Okay. All right, move quickly because if you want to change something, you have to cap. Okay, take a look at this. Take a look at it. Okay, I'm Okay. Next one for you, Maggie. What was this? Now, if you've already got the telephone, you can move things around if you need to. Okay. Okay, so that means you're going to have to figure out what this was. What's this one, Maggie? This is the radio. All right. Back over here. And what was this? Go mix it. That's it. Mix it. Okay, and finally, this one right here. Let's take a look at it. Shopper. Okay, you have to make choices. Yeah. <laughs> now, you need to get four out of six right in order to win this. Grandma, maybe you can help me figure out what some of these were to see oh, if it was right. Oh, I'd love to, okay. Patrick. Uh, first of all, on this one, they said it's the chopper, and we can see the chopping blade, so that would be correct, yes, right? That's one. Next one here uh, on the mixer, and uh, look at that. That's you the... can see the little mixing blades. <laughs> yes, yes, you can. That's two. Over here, originally you had the telephone somewhere else. You moved it over here once you saw the telephone, the telephone cord, cord, so that would be three. <laughs> one more, you'll do it. Turn this around here, and you can see the uh, little magnet that goes with the That's can opener, and that would be four. Myself. Very yes. good. You did it. <laughs> Last two here. We have uh, the clock radio. You can tell by the speaker. Yes. And over here, the blender was the first one. And you can see the blender blades up there and, and the buttons, of course. Good job, you guys. Back here in the center court. Thanks, Grandma. All right, for you, I've got 100 points and the chance to go shopping in our mall. We do have a shopper special up there, so you might get a mini vacation. Here are the stores to pick from. 24 Carats, RCA BMG Music and Video, Downtown Designs, Heidi's Housewares, J&B Sports of All Sorts, Andrea's Art Mart, and Chuck's Department Store. What do you think? Yes. Chuck's. 
All right, Chuck's department store. That means that you just won a great mattress set. D. Discover the future of sleep on MediCoil by Therapeutic, the ultimate sleep system. This Therapeutic Millennia Ultra Bed features patented award-winning TriTech Total Spring Support. Retail value, $1,000. Very nice. Good for you guys. All right, Carrie and Benjamin, come with me right over here. All right, why don't you stand right here? You might say this stunt is tailor-made for you guys because you know how we were saying Benjamin talks too much in the movies? Well, in a sense, this is kind of about the movies, and Benjamin, we do need you to talk with the right answers because what we're going to do is ask you to smash a giant movie poster over your head, and as you do that, Carrie, you're going to try to give him clues to who he is, which celebrity he is. That's what you're okay. going to be trying to come up with, the celebrity name. Okay. As you do it, you can say anything other than the celebrity's name. Benjamin, once you think you know what it is, say it out loud, and okay. if you're right, you'll hear this, and we'll move on. If you can correctly identify four out of seven stars in a minute, you'll win. Great. Okay, okay. Carrie, we're going to bring you around to the other side here. We'll ask you to put this blindfold on. It'll help protect your eyes as well as uh, no cheating allowed. Okay. If you do need to pass along the way, feel free to tell us to pass, and we'll go on to the next one. Are you ready? Yep. Time on the clock. And this is the first one. Ready, He's set, an Air Force and one. go. He's a star. He's a star in Air Force One. Uh, Harrison Ford. Yes, that's right. That's yeah. one. Next one for you right now. He's on Go. home improvement. He's from Michigan. Uh, Tim Allen. Tim Allen is right. That's two. Woo! Next one we have for you right okay, here. Okay, he's starring in Men in Black with Will Smith. Uh, Tommy Lee Jones. Tommy Lee Jones is three. Yeah. You need just I, one more I, I, in order to do it. And here's your next I'm one. Right, Go. I can say anything. You uh, John Cusack? Yeah. Woo! Very good. Yeah. Boy, you guys are good at that. Take your, take your uh, blindfold off. Huh? All right. Good job. Back here to center court. Yeah. All right. Okay, you have 100 points also, and you get a chance to shop at our mall and maybe get the shopper special. Good luck. Okay. We're going to go downtown designs. Let's do it. We're going to go to downtown designs. Downtown designs. You just got silver buckles. D. Marshall Stanton's Lion Buckle Set, a contemporary creation in sterling silver on luxurious French calf straps, handcrafted by renowned artisans. Available in fine stores from Marshall Stanton. Retail value $520. Very nice. A good start to our game. Let's keep it going, what do you say, when we go on with our stunts. And that'll happen right after this here on the new Shop You Drop. So please, stay with us. Welcome back. It's round two. Stunts are now worth 200 points apiece. And of course, this time, Carrie and Benjamin, you can go first if you want. Let me tell you about it, and then you tell me if you want to pass your play. Now, in this next game, you'll need to use your stick to as you're doing this. Let me explain what I'm talking about here. Because first of all, we have five different products on our table over there. The products are a Regent Table Tennis Set, next to that, Sportworks Hand Weights, a Global Golf Club Cover, Rawlings Little League Baseball, Franklin Boxing Glove and Punch Bag Set. Now, the products range in price from $5 to $25. Now, each of the ping pong balls that we have here are worth $5 a piece. Now, the way it's going to work is when I say go, you, Benjamin, will hit a ping pong ball over to one of the giant paddles over there. And, Carrie, you'll be with the giant paddles, and you'll try to catch the ping pong ball. You want to show, look, give them a sh uh, show to see of how they do Patrick. it here? At the, <laughs> this I'm just getting me nervous when I see you over there. You used to throw me to Vegas at your Uncle George. <laughs> yes, I remember oh, that. such a sweet child, <laughs> yeah, I remember that one. Well. Try to catch it, Granny, All if you right, can Patrick. for me, please. No, 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 try it on this Patrick. one. There. A little more to the left next time, <laughs> no, Patrick. Yeah. Try to catch it, Granny. A little more no, to the left. All right, see, it'll stick like that. Oh, no, it's right right. You got this one, <laughs> By the way, you've got to get the right number of balls to the paddle that you think would correspond with the price because they're worth $5 a piece, of course. And if you can get three out of five right in a minute, you'll win. What do you think? Yeah, pass or play? We are past. You're passing. Pass. Okay, why don't you head over there? I don't know I knew that. All right, Liz and Bruce, this one's yours. Let's go around the back of the table. And Bryce, there you go. You're so athletically inclined, Patrick. <laughs> you cracked me up. <laughs> All right, you ready? We'll put time on the clock. You're going for the ping pong ball set first. Ready, set, uh, the table tennis set. 20, go ahead. I think it's 20. Five. Right, that good one stick. So you've got 10 so far. That's 15. And that's 20. Okay, she says stop at 20. Next you're going on to the hand weights. That's five. Ten. What do you think? $10 on the hand weights. You got $15 on the hand weights, $20 on the hand weights, $25 on the hand weights. Okay. Move on here to the golf club cover. $10 on that one, okay. Next one we have the baseball, $5. Next 
and the Franklin Boxing Glove and Punch Bag set. 5, 10, 15. Okay, are you happy with all that? You still have time to change something if you want to. Need any more or less on anything? Oh. That one fell off. No, perfect. So that one fell off, so how much did you want? You went to 15? Oh, no, it's right here. It's on the bottom. It's on, there. it's on the bottom. Okay. okay. No, All right. Let's fun. see how well you did. You need three out of five right in order to do it. Why don't you stand right over here, okay. and we'll give you a chance to see if you made it. Want to help me with this? I'd be happy <laughs> to, Patrick. Oh, great. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty dollars. They said for this table tennis set, and it is twenty dollars. Very good. <laughs> don't hurt yourself, Granny. All right. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five dollars on the hand weights, which are actually oh, no. Sorry, I didn't get that one right. Next one here. We have. One, two here. So you said ten dollars for our football here, and the actual cost here, Granny says. Oh, fifteen. No, sorry. Over here, next for our baseball, you said one ball is five dollars, and five dollars would be right. That means you'd have to get this one right in order to do it. Five, ten, fifteen dollars. Fifty. You're losing your earrings, Granny. I'm losing everything. Five, ten, fifteen dollars. It's actually cost twenty-five. Oh, sorry, gosh. guys. Back here to center court. Don't try. Okay, we'll get a chance again in a moment to have some more fun. In the meantime, Carrie and Benjamin, come with me. Why don't you stand right here? You look a little chilly. I'm glad you have a sweater on here with no arms because, you know, in the mall, we like to keep it a brisk 59 degrees. We find that research shows that people will buy more when it's cold. Okay. But we care about our contestants, so we're actually going to provide you with an overcoat. Okay. Or actually, I should say overcoats, because a bunch of overcoats are going to start coming down our conveyor belt here in just a moment. Your job is to get all of them on as quickly as you can without allowing any to fall off the edge of the conveyor belt. You're going to have 45 seconds to do that, and once that happens, I'll have one more part of the task for you in order for you to win the stunt. Okay, okay. okay put you in a position right there. 45 seconds on the clock. Ready, set, okay. and go. Ready. Start the conveyor, and here comes the cows. Put the coats on. Okay. Okay. Go, 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 quickly. Go, Good. Go, hurry, hurry. All right, we got it, we got it. Any more? All right, one more. Go, 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 go. I got it. I got the sleeve. Okay, get the sleeve in there. Both sleeves have to be in. That's the way, that's the rule. You still have 20 seconds. Just don't let any drop off the edge. If you need to stack something here, you can just keep moving it down. You can keep moving it down. Keep moving it down the belt if you need to. You're allowed to help each other too if you need to. So help you can help him quickly. Quickly, you're down to your last seven seconds. Get that on. You've got that. Get your arm in there. Get your arm in. Get your arm in there. Uh, if, okay, his arm is on the edge of it here, so it's in the sleeve. So we're going to count that. I mentioned that there's going to be one other part to this whole thing. Oh, no. The other part is going to be 15 seconds worth of time in order for you to find the one dollar bill that's in one of the pockets of your coat. Time on the clock. Okay. Ready, set, and go. Find the one dollar bill. Whatever way you think it'll be quickest. Okay. It's going to be in one of the pockets. One of the pockets. Start feeling the pockets. Feel it. Put your hands in the pockets. Feel. Put your hands in the pockets. Put your hands in the pockets. You know what? It, well, your intuition might have been right because you were going for this coat first and you stuck your hand in this pocket and you didn't find anything. However, if you stuck your hand in the other pocket, you would have found the $1 bill. Sorry, you guys. Back here to Santa Court. Why don't you just leave your jackets on and you come over here and you can uh, have some fun? Well, it's still a tied score at this point, so that's fine. So it all comes down to our question and answer round, and that goes down right after this. So the new shots are dropped. So go ahead. SN. Welcome back for our Shoppers Challenge round. We've had a lot of fun so far, but right now it's an even playing field, a tied score. So what really counts is how well you do in the next minute and a half. That team will go on to shop till they drop. So get into position, ladies. Minute 30 seconds on the clock. Good luck to both teams. Who makes the cross your heart bra? Yes, you're in first. Playtex? Yes, that's correct. What does AC Delco make? Picture. Uh, yes. Spark Here. plugs. Uh, the answers would be picture frames, auto parts, or nail clippers. Auto well, parts. That's the answer, yeah. Bryce. What coffee claims to be mountain grown? Yes, Folgers? Liz. Right. Is Rand McNally a name associated with flatware, atlases, or gasoline? Yes. A atlases. That's correct. What do the letters VCR stand for? Yes, Liz. Video set. Video. Video. I just lost my mind. Uh, do you know, Karen? Video cassette recorder. That's correct. <laughs> Who broadcast the TV show Wild Discovery? Is it PBS? Yes, Bryce. Uh, PBS. Nope. Or the Discovery Channel or A&E, Benjamin? 
uh, A and E. No, it's the Discovery Channel. The Flintstones, the Simpsons, or the Jetsons. Which cartoon family is also a brand of chewable vitamins? Yes, Flintstones. That's correct. Is Dimatap a brand of cookware, cold medicine, or cold medicine? That's correct, Benjamin. In what city would you find the Golden Gate Bridge? Yes, Liz. San Francisco. Right. Shopping at Lectures, would you most likely purchase books, housewares, or shoes? Yes, Benjamin. Housewares. Right. Who manufactures the PowerBook line of laptop computers? Yes, Carrie. Microsoft. Uh, no, that's incorrect. Macintosh? Liz? That's right, or Apple. Was the song Stand By Your Man made famous by Dolly Parton, Tammy Wynette, or Patsy Cline? Yes, Benjamin. Uh, Tammy Wynette. That's the get right one. Are <laughs> debt products for your car, your hair, or your pet? Liz. Hair. That's right. Is the Seiko Arctura a car, watch, or sound system? Yes, Benjamin. That's right. Where would you get a flame-broiled burger at McDonald's, Burger King? Out of time, and Carrie and Benjamin, you're going to shot your drive. You guys, that was a close one, really. You did a nice yeah. job there. You did win the matches. Enjoy that. It was nice meeting you. We'll see you at the end of the show. Yeah. They'll come back at the end of the show, and they'll get their chance to shop for the job. Right after the show. For free. They're still celebrating. Welcome back. Uh, this is the couple that uh, went to the University of Michigan, but not at the same time, or at least they didn't know each other then. They met here in Southern California. Now they're on the show winning. Very good. Can we say go blue? Uh, go no, blue, you can't. No, you just did, <laughs> actually. All right. Here's your chance to win the big trip. Now, right over there, as you can see, we have Granny. She's going to show you how to hit the buzzer. Go ahead, Granny. That's all you got to do. Thanks, Granny. Go away. <laughs> You also have to run around, of course, because what you're trying to do is come up with $2,500 worth of stuff. And if you do, you two will win the dream vacation. To where, D? To London. Woo! You can be shopping in London as guests at the Radisson SAS Portman Hotel. Centrally located on Leafy Portman Square, just minutes from High Park, Marble Arch, Oxford Street, and Bond Street. The Radisson SAS Portman Hotel in London, a superb base from which to enjoy this historic city. Pan Am, a respected name in aviation, is back in the air. Sophisticated, luxurious, and comfortable. First class service for the price of coach. No restrictions when you fly Pan Am. All right, you guys, good luck. Okay. We're going to give you a minute, 30 seconds on the clock. This is your first box. Ready, set, and go. Look okay, inside, and exchange. we find the Virginia Metal Crafter Sundial. We're going to take a bath. We're heading upstairs. We're going to stop off at Gifts Galore. That's our gift store. Be careful. And the bell. Okay, good. Our next one, a bronze coffee maker. Go to Chuck's department store. Don't forget to press the button. Next, Oneida, Julia, Kenny, Ford, Rolls going upstairs. All right, you guys, right over here, if you will, please. Uh, what's the matter? It's quite a work out there, children. <laughs> <laughs> As Granny catches her breath, and you do the same, Benjamin, I'll tell you that we're going to try to get you guys to London by getting $2,500 worth okay. of stuff for you right here. We'll start off with the first of the two gifts you decided to keep, and it was this Oric vacuum. Tell us about it, Dee. The Oric Lightweight Vacuum. It's hypoallergenic, 100% made in America, and weighs only 8 pounds from the Oric Corporation. Retail value on this is $400. Okay. So that's a very okay. good okay. start here. Good start. We're going to go next to our convection oven. It's a nice oven. It's a toaster type oven, right, Dean? Okay. Yeah, bad. DeLonghi's fine quality Airstream Convection Toaster Oven. Superior performance of convection cooking in a compact countertop design. High tech Italian design that makes cooking a joy from DeLonghi. Retail value 190. So we need some bigger numbers as we go along here. Let's hope for the best as we look inside gifts galore. Hey, take a look at this gift. It's a nice hey. picture. Hey, it even has a gift certificate inside. All right. Yeah, yeah, you've won this lovely silver pitcher plus a gift certificate for dinner at Lowry's, the prime rib restaurant. Lowry's is world famous for serving the finest prime ribs of beef tableside from silver carts. Lowry's is located in Beverly Hills, Chicago, Dallas, and now Las Vegas. Retail value, $225. Okay, let's get some bigger numbers here as we go to Bob's camera shop. Uh, well, how about two? That's a good number, two cameras. Hey. You've just won two fabulous 35mm cameras, one for each of you, plus a service merchandise gift certificate where you can purchase all your film for your new cameras. Okay. Retail value on this one is $300. Okay. All right. All right. 
Okay, that. two more boxes to go here, and we'll look inside Chuck's department store, and in Chuck's we have for you this. Steve. GeoSafari Electronic Learning Game, an exciting game of knowledge for one or the whole group. Education made fun. GeoSafari Electronic Learning Game from Educational Insights. Retail value, and this is 310. Okay, your final number is 1,075. That's a big number to get, but no matter what, you do get to keep all the stuff you want on the show, including the silver buckles that you won earlier. 24 carats might do it. Hey, we might do it. We've got two pieces of jewelry in here. D. Photon, ladies and gents, watches. Three micron, 23 carat gold plated rectangle case, mineral crystal, three genuine diamonds in the 369 position. Water resistant from Croton Watch Company. Okay, we need it to be worth $1,075 in order for you guys to win the big trip to London. The actual retail value is, don't you hate when they stretch this stuff out on television? Yeah, I hate it too. So I should probably get right to it. Sorry, $600. Sorry, didn't do it. But you did win some great stuff. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome so much, Benjamin. Thank you. Nice meeting you guys. Thank you for being here. Over $2,500 in prizes. Not bad. Thank you for being here too. This is Patrick for Pete Baker, the whole Stone Stanley family. Thanks for watching. <laughs> yes. yes, yes, whatever you want to think, Grandma. <laughs> now, now, Grandma is gonna, uh, has had a chance to have a little fun with some products, and she's demolished them to, well, almost beyond recognition, right? Yes, I have. This one here reminds me the little curly wires of you before you found out about the benefits of moose. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? This used to be a... That was my air dryer. Oh, yes. Your hair dryer. Yes. <laughs> yes, appropriately enough. <laughs> All right. By the way, on the table over there are six products in their non-demolished state. You can see a can opener below that, a blender. Then we have a clock radio and mixer, mixer, clock radio, down to telephone, and a chopper. Now, when I say go, we'll show you the first demolished product. You'll grab the undemolished one you think it matches, and then place it here, and we'll move on to the next one. If you can get four out of six right in 60 seconds, you win. What do you think? Pass or play? I'm play. We'll play it. We're going to play. play. All right, very good. We're going to give you 60 seconds on the clock. Ready? Yeah. Move as quickly as you can. Set and go. Take a look at this. Okay, what do you think that was? Blender. Wow, it barely looks. Okay. <laughs> All right, just set it, set it right there. Today, one of these lucky couples could win a dream vacation. Meet Bryce Johnson and Liz Worthen. He's a telemarketer who likes golf and soccer. She manages an apartment building and enjoys movies and the beach. Meet Benjamin Podnos and Carrie Pomeroli. He's in sales and likes sports and reading. She owns her own business and enjoys dancing and traveling. They're all here to play the wildest shopping game ever, the new shop till you drop. And here's the host of the new shop till you drop, Pat Finn. Welcome, good to have you here in our studio, and great to have you watching here at home to the new shop you dropped. Let's meet our contestants, Carrie and Benjamin, welcome. Hi. Good to have you guys here. Now, you two are a couple, right? Yes. How do you know each other? We went to college back in Michigan at the same time, but we met watching a football game out here in California. Oh, really? Oh, very cool. And uh, what do you mean by he talks too much? That's what they told me to ask you about. What's that? I, I, I get in trouble. I talk too much during movies. Because oh. he thinks he's in the movie and he likes to talk to the characters. Uh -huh. So we've gotten kicked out of several movie theaters. When did you first start thinking these things? But never mind. Anyway, Liz and Bryce, good to have you guys here. You two are friends, right? Yes. And what else? Roommates. Roommates. Very cool. And, uh, and uh, just the two of you or? And the 25-pound cat. Whoa. <laughs> Probably in charge of the house, no exactly. doubt. Exactly. <laughs> All right, you two won the toss, so you get to go first. Come with me. <laughs> Why don't you stand right here and listen carefully and tell me if you want to play this game or pass it, because you have the choice at this point. Now, Grandma Curmudgeon can sometimes be, well, described as a bull in a china shop, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> so sweet. I've always thought of myself as a bull in a china shop, too. <laughs> a bull. Yes. A lovely bull. That's right. <laughs> 